that's how the market is looking like. But let's bring on board the management of a Bank of India. They, and to talk about their numbers, we do have Rajinish Karnat, our managing director, as well as the CEO of the company joining in with us. Thank you so much, sir, for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now. Uh, so looking at your numbers, you know, what we want to start by talking about is the net interest margins. They've seen an improvement and this is despite what we're seeing in the, at, uh, at the pressure that is coming in at an industry level. What are the factors that are playing out for your bank and what is the outlook on NIMS going forward? Yeah, so as far as net interest margins are concerned, if you see our trajectory on the net interest margins, so we have shown 3.07 as our NIM for this quarter. The March NIM was at around uh, 2.92. And uh, the June 23 NIM was at uh, also at 3.02. So we have improved our NIM in this uh, quarter definitely. And uh, because of the main reason for that is the cost of uh, deposits have gone up by 60 basis points, but our yield on advances have also gone up by 50 basis points. So 860 is our yield on advances and the gap between the cost of deposit and yield on advances is a good 3.68%. So the NIM is translating into 3.07. So good margins are there as far as our credit growth is concerned uh, through the credit growth because we are lending, uh, not lending uh, uh, on the repo rate side and we are trying to lend on the MCLR side where our lowest MCLR is the overnight MCLR at 8.15%. So that is one reason. And the other reason is that there was one uh, lumpy recovery on the uh, on the NPA side where the, uh, the recovery had gone into the interest uh, in income for the bank. So that also contributed to the improvement in the net interest margin at 3.07. But the trajectory is that we have been improving our net interest margins on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis and now it has come to 3.07%. Right. Uh, Mr. Kanatak also tell us that your loan co core income was a little lower this quarter, uh, which was impacted by the PPOP growth on a year-on-year -year basis, if I'm not wrong. Do you think that the non-core income will pick up from here on or remain lower? our slide in the presentation though it is showing a, a reducing uh, number but however let me clarify that the q1 fy 23 uh, march uh, this one june 23 numbers there was a 470 crores of uh, in, uh, income tax refund in that so because of that the uh, quarter income was elevated so if, if we remove that and net it off in fact we have grown our uh, net in non-interest uh, this non-interest uh, income and it has grown by nearly 12 to 13 percent uh, as against the negative which is being shown in this slide because of one single entry of uh, income tax refund in the June 23 quarter. Okay. Uh, you know, Mr. Anarak, let's talk about your deposits. That's grown at a growth with around 10%, which is lagging to the strong advanced growth that one has seen of 15% during the quarter. This seems like there's a stress in terms of deposits growth, especially coming in from the CASA side across industries. Uh, could the CD ratio for you... Uh, is, which is when you're looking at a 76%, do you think this may actually inch up towards the 80% this year? Yeah, you are right when you say that uh, our deposit growth has been slow in comparison to the credit growth. If you see on the domestic side, our credit has grown by around 17% and deposit has grown at around 9.9%. On the global book side, you, uh, you can see that our credit growth is around 15% and deposit growth is at around 9.7% odd. But let me clarify here on a sequential basis, on a quarter basis, our deposit growth has been higher, uh, both uh, in percentage terms and also in amount wise over the credit growth on a sequential basis. If you see from March 24 to June 24, yes, on a year on year basis, the deposit growth uh, has been outpaced by the uh, credit growth, but we have taken certain uh, other strategies to bridge this uh, gap, which is there. And the strategy, one of them was that we raised CDs from the market. Another was that during the year, we also had a QIP of 4,500 crore. Then we had a tie to bond also of 2,000 crore. Then we are also borrowing from some of the financial institutions at lower rate. And also the excess SLR, we are also targeting for borrowing. So we are uh, seeing other avenues also for improving that. And the present CD ratio of 78% uh, around, we will be able to maintain it through various uh, things and a lot of uh, other strategies for raising resources we have already put in place, which includes we have now 82 officers who are looking only after resources side in the bank. Apart from that, uh, certain branches we have identified in the bank, which will be only resources branches in the bank, and their entire KRA of the staff would be on raising of the deposits, both on the side and the bulk side, and a lot of other digital journeys 
we are starting on the liability side and also tie ups we are now doing with uh, like uh, schools and hospitals education institutes corporate state and central psus all these strategies uh, will definitely bring together more of uh, uh, liability side and in fact for bank of india if i may clarify we have world deposit of only 14% in our domestic book remaining 86% is kasa and retail term deposit so we have a very strong franchise and we do not foresee any much of the challenge some challenge is already there but definitely as far as the facing with the credit growth is concerned we'll be able to face it and maintain the cd ratios within the levels which are prescribed by rbi but mr kanata you know the rbi is also being cautious with the lcr ratio now with a new draft circular what's your uh, internal assessment in terms of the impact on your lcr ratio so <clears throat> draft circular of rbi has come on 25th of july so we have to submit our feedback and suggestions by 31st of august that will be doing it to rbi and all so through iba to the rbi that is one part it will get implemented from 1st april 25 we have done our ballpark calculation according to our estimate the impact would be on the lcr to the extent of 10 to 15% that would be impact overall impact definitely it will impact the net interest margin uh, on a going on the ongoing basis because bank will have to park more on the slr securities and other things and the, the challenge for retail deposits will also go up and the costing may go so so that is one of the reasons that we are saying that uh, the nim Uh, we may not be able to keep the nim at 3.07 and it could be uh, shared to uh, 3 percent one concern you know that is shaping up seems like a lot of noise is that there is stress around msmes and this segment actually contributed to additional slippages for you during this quarter as well you know could you highlight in terms of do you see any stressed regions for your uh, books from the msme side or any other book if you could give us an indication there so as regards our asset quality is concerned see if you see our uh, gross npa and net npa are coming down so gross npa book is now 27000 crore odd and the net npa book is around 5700 crore if i talk in percentage terms sequentially our gross npa is coming down so presently it is at 4.62% only and it has come down by 2 percentage point on a yoy basis now if you see our net npa for the first time the net npa has come down below 1% and sequentially again this number is coming down overall slippage ratio is also less at 0.35% only in this quarter and sequentially again this is coming down credit cost though it is a bit higher because of uh, uh, in the sense that uh, it is also coming down but uh, in this quarter we also made some provisions as a matter of prudence and if you see our pcr ratio it is uh, 92% plus now so oh, as regards the stress we are seeing the stress is there uh, in agriculture and msme both but we don't see at much of a challenge because these are normal npas which happened during the quarter in the bank with the kind of portfolio that we have and the way it is going so no specific uh, segment is there where there is a challenge but overall there may be small normal slippages both in retail agriculture and msme and corporate we don't uh, uh, see a potential any account slippage right uh, also mr kanada tell us the credit growth guidance of 13 to 14% whereas the actual growth this quarter was uh, 15% so is it a, a cautious call to keep the growth outlook lower yeah uh, we have given a cautious call for this fact that sources are a challenge these days and we want to protect our nim so top line is important but the bottom line is equally important so in order to protect the nim and the uh, net interest income also though we have grown our net interest income by 6% and the interest uh, earned there was also increased by around the 16 uh, percentage points but uh, we feel that uh, we need to protect our margins and if there is a challenge on the resources side definitely we we'll have to take care of the credit growth also so there are other strategies also so that is the reason why we have kept a very uh, uh, guidance of around 30 to 40% on the global credit growth and around 10 to 11% on the deposit side so but we will definitely review this position uh, once 30th september is over okay thank you so much mr karnataka for joining in the class this afternoon on et now and talking about uh, the names the gnpas of bank of india and the outlook going forward but talking about the outlook going forward uh, today what happened was that indigo 